Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a foundation wear test and review over the new IT Cosmetics Oil Free Matte, is that what it's called? CC Oil Free Matte Foundation with SPF of 40. Uh, I had been wanting to get my hands on this ever since I started seeing the buzz floating around on YouTube about this. And Paul and I just got back from an overnight trip. We literally walked in the door like an hour ago. And this was sitting at my front doorstep. So I was like, I'm going to film this review. It is about 12 o'clock. It's actually 12.03 right now. But but I do have a pretty full day today, so I felt like I had plenty of time to really put this foundation to the test. So I purchased mine off QVC, and it arrived in a box like this. It is kind of a bundle. So with it comes the foundation. It also comes with airbrush perfecting powder, the CC powder, an SPF of 50, and then it also comes with a brush. So this entire set on QVC was about $54 and some change, I think. Uh, retail value of all three of these products, if purchased separately, would be $121. Um, I'm going to have links to both the uh, cosmetics site and then also the QVC site down below. Um, but I did price out all the items, so the foundation alone retails for $38. The powder retails for $35, and then the brush is like, I think it's like $48. So um, I think that even if you just wanted two of these products, it's a great set off QVC. QVC has some really amazing beauty deals. I'm definitely going to be shopping that website more when I'm interested in products because because you can get such a great value. So I'm definitely gonna be shopping QVC more for beauty buys, but this video is not sponsored by any means. Um, I just wanted to share that because I only recently started looking at QVC for beauty deals like this year. It shocks me how great of deals you can find on there. So anyway, not gifted to me, this is what the package looks like. So if you were to purchase this, this is what you are going to get. Okay, so let's dive in. I don't have anything on my skin except a little bit of moisturizer um, and I have a little bit of brow makeup on. I did prep my skin using Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics, so I just thought it would be fun to pair that moisturizer with this foundation. So I picked up the shade Natural Medium. I looked at the color that I have in the uh, other CC cream, the regular CC cream, and I'm a medium in that. Um, I thought that I would try, not natural, I'm sorry, neutral medium is the shade that I have. I am pretty dark, as you can tell, I have been out in the sun a lot this summer, so um, I'm expecting this to be a little bit lighter than my natural skin, but that's okay, because I always like to bronze it up. So a couple things about this foundation before we get into the application. You get 1.08 ounces, so just over an ounce, which is pretty typical for a foundation. It is oil-free matte. It's described as having poreless finish, full coverage cream, um, and it's an anti-aging hydrating serum and it has an SPF of 40. So when I was reading online just to kind of cover my bullet points, and I am gonna kind of read off the site because I don't want to forget anything, what I was surprised to see when I looked on the tab on how to apply the foundation, I like to read that with a new product because if it says anything like don't apply it with a primer or anything like that, I wanna make sure that I'm aware of that. I didn't see any mention of using a primer with this foundation, so what I think I'm gonna do today is not apply a primer, see how it wears. If I love the foundation, then great. If I feel like it got really shiny or it and hold up throughout the day, then I'll probably film it again tomorrow using a primer to see if that changes it at all. So this video, I'm not sure how this is going to end, if I'm going to try it with a primer or not. I think it really depends on how it performs on its own. Uh, but I did read, when I was reading how to apply this foundation, that it did talk in length about how this can work as your concealer, your foundation, your moisturizer. Um, so it kind of led me to believe you don't even really need to put a moisturizer on it. This has skincare benefits equal to that of a moisturizer. So that's pretty cool. I I already did moisturize my skin so we're just gonna kind of roll with that but I was thinking you know we just got back from an overnight trip so I was trying to pack minimum minimal amount of makeup and this would have been a perfect product to have for a trip especially for the beach or something like that of course I haven't even used this so let's find out if I like it first um, okay so before I open this and get started I do want to read you a couple of things a couple of benefits off the site just so that I cover my basis so Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream Oil-Free Matte with SPF 540, that's quite a title, delivers color-correcting, full-coverage, anti-aging skin care, and SPF 40 broad-spectrum physical sunscreen, all with a poreless, natural-looking matte finish that lasts. This multitasking, complexion-perfecting breakthrough instantly camouflages skin imperfections, including dark spots, without creasing or cracking, and is clinically tested to reduce shine and control oil for up to 12 hours. Very good, I like that. It's also infused with charcoal to detoxify, clay to absorb oil, and tea tree extract to combat blemishes, plus an advanced anti-aging serum made of hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, niacin, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, and antioxidants. Very cool. 
It comes in at 12 shades, so it's described as having a natural matte finish, which is kind of the finish that I really love. I don't like to have a glow on my skin. I don't like any shine, but at the same time, I'm kind of always weary of matte finish foundations because they can tend to look a little bit heavy. So when I find a foundation that's described as a natural matte finish, that's kind of my sweet spot. Um, it's described as having full coverage, so we shall see. Usually when something is matte finish and full coverage, in my head I think heavy, but of course um, I love the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So I think that I love the normal it Cosmetics CC Cream. I think that people either love it or hate it. People with oily skin, I know that that uh, cream doesn't typically last very well and it does get shiny throughout the day and it's not a very long wearing foundation. So hopefully this is just as beautiful but um, is more longer wearing. So I am going to use the brush that comes with it. I was reading that it says this brush is great to apply the foundation or the powder that comes in the package, and I'm sure it is. I don't know that I would use it for both though because I think about using it with the foundation and it having wet product and then dipping that into the powder could maybe um, ruin the integrity of the powder. So I think I would probably pick it to use with one or the other. Um, and I think this brush feels amazing. Actually, I think this would be a perfect foundation brush. It's pretty dense, but it's also very soft. So it's gonna help blend out foundations, but give good coverage too. Ooh, I like this brush. I was excited to get this. This is kind of what sold me in the bundle. Um, I already have that powder and I really like it, but I thought, well, this would be kind of like an extra little bonus. Um, and I love it cosmetics brushes. Okay, so in, as far as packaging, it's very similar to the normal CC cream. It comes in the same type of packaging and it has the pump, which I love. The main difference is clearly this is a teal color and the other is, I think it's silver, right? Silver or white? Okay, so let's just see. You gotta pump it a few times to get it out. I want to. I want you to see what it looks like when it comes out onto the hand. Okay, so that is the texture of it. Pretty thick, pretty thick. It's not moving at all. It's on my hand and it's just kind of staying in place. I think that's very similar to the normal CC cream that I use, it's a nice, thick, rich consistency, but it's not heavy, so we'll see. I'm just going to dip my brush directly into the product, and I'm going to start in the center of my face and just kind of press. I know I say this in all my videos, but if you're newer to my channel, I always like to repeat this so I don't assume everyone has heard it, but I always start in the center of my face because that's where we have the most discoloration or blemishes, things that we want to conceal, and the first place you put your brush is the place you're going to deposit the most product. So I want the most product here, and I want less product out here on the perimeter of my face because one, I don't really need that much coverage there, and two, um, it's going to help me avoid getting that line uh, where my foundation ends. And this color, you guys, could not be more perfect. Wow, this is like an exact perfect match. Okay, it blends out so easily. Wow, like, I mean, I like literally could have been done in two seconds, but I'm just enjoying this brush so much I'm not taking my time. This is so pretty. Okay, it looks very similar to me as the normal CC cream does. I got a lot of sun yesterday. We were out at the Hyatt Lost Pines and we spent the whole day by the pool. It was really nice. And then I went running this morning and then I had the girls at the pool all week. I have gotten a lot of sun. Okay, so I think the coverage is really, really nice. I think at first application, I'm getting about a medium level of coverage. I did use up everything that was on my hand and that was, I think, about a full pump and a half. I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more because I haven't gotten anything on my forehead yet. So I'm applying about this much more. You could probably apply less product too if you don't go directly from the brush to the face. If you were to kind of, you know, kind of stipple it on your face with your finger and then go with the brush, you'd probably go through less product. But also my nose has a little bit of redness here, again, from sun exposure. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can conceal that a tiny bit more. And I'm just gonna use my finger this time just so I can kind of spot conceal those areas a little bit better. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender now. And the areas that I want a little bit more coverage, I'm just gonna do this just so it doesn't shear it out as much as with this brush. Because this foundation is a little thicker in consistency, I think using a damp beauty blender and just kind of softly bouncing it all over the face after I've done what I can with the brush, it's just a nice way to um, kind of make it look a little bit more natural and also just absorb any extra product that uh, wasn't really blended into the skin well. And I think too here in this area, I can see my pores are a little larger, so I'm just gonna kind of press and roll my Beauty Blender to kind of help with that. That gives a very subtle softening effect to the skin. 
So today I'm using the Kevin Aquan um, Super Natural Concealer. I really like this. I've been grabbing this lately. It has a slight peach tone to it, so it really works nicely as a slight color corrector and brightening. I need a new one. This one's getting a little bit dry. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. I want to take a closer look so I can kind of explain to you what I'm seeing. And I'm actually going to zoom in you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so here we are. Hope this gives you guys a better viewpoint. Um, let me take a look in this mirror and kind of see what I am, kind of describe what I'm seeing. Okay, so it's very pretty. I do see a little bit of a glow though. It doesn't quite, it hasn't quite set to a really matte finish on me yet. I don't know that if it will. I'll give it a couple of more minutes. Um, as far as like pore blurring, I wouldn't really say that it has done that. Um, I see here in the center of my cheeks, I can clearly see pores and texture. I'm sure you guys can see that too. So I really can't say that I feel like this foundation has given me any pore softening effect at all. I think it's pretty, but it does have more of like a, more of a natural glow than I expected it to have. Uh, but again, it's been on my face for just a couple of minutes. Maybe that will kind of mattify down. It does look pretty full coverage. I do feel like I did add quite a bit though, but I think I could have gotten away with applying a little bit less because it does look a little heavier to me than I like. It's pretty, but it has a very makeup look to it. So that's kind of my initial thoughts. I don't know. I don't really know that this is what I expected. It has a lot more glow to it than I thought it did. Um, it didn't really kind of soften my pores at all. I mean, I feel like they look the same, if not a little bit more noticeable um, than before applying the product. Okay, so I am going to set this with the powder. Initially, I wasn't quite sure what if I was going to because it's an oil-free, natural matte finish. Uh, sometimes when foundations have a matte enough finish, I feel like I don't need to set them with a the powder. But, but this one, I do feel like I could set it with a powder and it's not going to uh, make it look too matte for me because I do feel like this is a little bit of a glow. So let me grab the powder. Okay, so this is how the powder comes. It gave me the shade medium. So I ordered neutral medium in the foundation and I got the shade medium in the powder. So a couple of things about this powder, it can offer a sheer to full coverage finish. Uh, it does come with a sponge underneath it, which is going to give you more full coverage if you wanted to wear this as a foundation. But I like to apply it with a big fluffy brush if I'm setting a foundation with it. Uh, again, the sponge is gonna give a lot more coverage. I have all the coverage I need here. I just need a soft sheer veil to set everything. So I'm actually gonna use a fluffier brush. Um, because I have such a poor choice here in front of me, I'm gonna use this brush by MAC. It's the 139 brush. This probably isn't the brush I would pick if I had my choice. But the only brushes I have are the brush that I use for the foundation, and I don't really wanna put this in the dry powder. And then I have this brush, which would be ideal, but it's clearly got a lot of bronzer on it. So I'm gonna use this brush here, and I'm just gonna kinda of softly dust the powder in the center of my face just to make sure I set everything. Okay, I like the way this is looking when I set it with a powder. The powder definitely does soften the appearance of pores and give me that more pore blurring effect that I was hoping for. And it doesn't look too heavy, but again, it's all in the tool that you use to apply it. If I were to use a sponge to apply it, I would have a much different finish than using a very fluffy, light brush like this that doesn't really pick up a lot of product. Once I set it with the powder, I actually like it. I like the way this looks. To me, this is more of a natural matte finish. Before, I felt like it was kind of glowy, and I feel like I gave it enough time to set. I mean, I think that it was a total of about five minutes or so, um, but I didn't really see a lot of change in the way that the foundation set. Of course, it could be that I did have a moisturizer on before applying it, but I will always do that. I like to apply a moisturizer separate from my foundation. Um, that's just a preference of mine. So, And I did allow the moisturizer plenty of time to sit in. I mean, I had applied it probably 30 minutes before I applied the foundation, so I don't really know that that's the reason it looked glowy. I think it just had a more glowy finish than I expected it. Okay, so enough chatting. I'm going to go and apply the rest of my makeup, and then we will come back, and then we'll do our check-ins throughout the day. Okay, so I've applied the rest of my makeup, and I'm really liking the way that the foundation looks. I'm kind of a little bit more sold at this point on it. It definitely has more of a made-up look than I expected it to, though. Uh, and the finish initially wasn't as matte as I thought it would be, but after I set it with a little bit of powder, it gave me the desired finish, the kind of more natural matte finish. Uh, but it definitely looks like a full coverage foundation. It doesn't quite look like a normal CC cream to me. And even the normal CC cream by It Cosmetics has more coverage than a typical CC cream. Um, I think CC cream and BB creams 
when they first came out, they were kind of thought of as like a very sheer foundation or kind of more like tinted moisturizers or moisturizers with coverage. But they've definitely made a move from that because this looks like a full coverage foundation to me. But yes, I am liking the way that it looks right now. It's a little bit after 1230. I'm going to film another video. I have errands to run. I'm going to be watching the kids swim at the pool today. So I will be outside. So that'll kind of be like the ultimate test to this foundation. Uh, but I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the day and we're going to see how this foundation hey goes. Guys. It is 345. Let me show you. It's, th it's 346. <laughs> so it has been just over three hours that I've had the foundation on. I wanted to show you what it looks like. I'm pretty pleased with the way that it looks. I did get out of the house and run some errands. It's probably like 105 degrees here in Austin. It's so hot. Um, but the makeup looks uh, like it's holding up pretty well. I don't feel like I the need to touch up at all. So I have not powdered since applying the IT powder initially when I first applied it and it looks really good. The only thing I can say is that for my glasses, I do see a little indentation. So if you're wondering what that is, it's for my sunglasses, which happens no matter what foundation I wear. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It hasn't faded at all. It hasn't gotten shiny. It still looks very much like it did when I first applied it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, as far as it creasing, um, there is a little bit of creasing here in my smile lines. Uh, not terribly. It's, I don't think it's something that I would notice or be bothered by if I weren't doing this review and really picking it apart. Um, like it doesn't look bad, but because those are some of the deepest lines on my face that move a lot because I talk a lot um, and the product is a little thicker in consistency and heavier, I think that's kind of to be expected, but it's nothing bad. Um, it doesn't look bad. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Again, three hours later, this is what we are looking like. Let me walk over here. I am actually watching my nieces and nephews right now. My sister-in-law had a doctor's appointment and I came over to watch the kids while she did that. Let me get to this other mirror to see if it helps. Oh yeah, pretty happy. It, has, it doesn't tend to be separating or gathering in any areas of the face like sometimes heavier full coverage foundations do. But again, it's only been three hours, so I'm gonna check back in with you guys in about another three hours and we'll see how we're looking. Oh. Hey guys, so it's about 7 p.m. I just got home from our cousin's house and uh, I just wanna do a check-in. So what time did I check in with you guys last? Was it 3.30? So it's been three and a half hours. I took a good look in the mirror before turning the camera on and I definitely think that this is a point that I would wanna touch up. But I am impressed that the level of shine is not a whole lot. Like it doesn't, um, in terms of how it compares to the normal IT Cosmetic CC Cream, it's a world of difference. Uh, so the foundation's been on for almost seven hours and it's in great shape shape. There are some spots that have um, kind of smudged off or are wearing off. Um, you can see where my eyeglasses were here on my nose, but there's also like this big little area here. Let me see if I can get in better light. This area right here on my nose that has worn off quite a bit. So I don't know if maybe my finger touched that or something, but something I touched my face there and clearly it wore off of my nose right there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I definitely would touch up with powder at this point. So seven hours in, it does need some. But other than that, I I mean, it looks to be good pretty much everywhere else. Around the nose, it's gathering a little bit, but I kind of expect that for a foundation with this level of coverage and the type of consistency that it was, which is pretty thick. I kind of expect the amount that has gathered around my nose to be there. It's not an excessive amount. It's not breaking up or separating anywhere. Overall, it looks pretty good. I would say that I'm pretty impressed with it at this point. Um, I did bring a tissue because I wanted to kind of softly dab my nose area and see what transfers on this white tissue. So this is a clean white tissue. I'm just gonna kind of press it on my face just to see if there's a lot that comes off. And there's really not. There is really not much that has come off at all. I mean, there's a little bit of residue, but it's not like I see a lot of foundation. And I'm pressing pretty hard. I'm not rubbing. Um, but I'm pressing pretty hard and it's not, the makeup's not coming off on here. So I don't know what happened there. I have no idea, <laughs> but I did notice a smudge. So, so it's seven o'clock now. I'm going to check in uh, probably around 10 when I'm getting ready for bed and washing my face. Um, I am going to go ahead and touch up with a little bit of powder at this point and then we'll see how it's holding up in a few hours. All right. I hear my kids calling my name. Hey guys, it's 10 02. So 10 PM. So the makeup has been on for... What is that? Nine and a half hours? Almost 10 hours? Um, I just did a quick glance in the mirror. I did touch up right after my last check-in around 7 p.m. I just dusted a little bit of translucent setting powder on top of it. 
um, and it did set the makeup really nicely and absorb any of the shine that was happening. So this is what we look like right now. Um, so I just have a mirror right here and I'm just going to kind of look in the mirror and kind of tell you guys what I see happening. So overall, the foundation is much longer wearing than the normal traditional IT CC cream. Uh, I would say that it's more coverage than the original IT Cosmetics CC cream. Uh, although that one gives pretty good coverage, this one definitely gives more full coverage. This one definitely looks more like makeup. The other one is so beautiful and it makes your skin look super healthy and just flawless, but like in a natural kind of way. Um, this is also very pretty, gives great coverage, but it's definitely more full coverage than the original. Um, it is, it's longer wearing. I already mentioned that. Um, it does look more like a heavier makeup than the original It Cosmetics CC Cream, in my opinion. I would give this foundation, like, I don't think it's like knock my socks off amazing, um, but it is pretty good. Uh, I think that I am going to wear this tomorrow and I'm going to pair it with a primer and I'm going to see how it wears. Uh, overall, I think it wore really well. I did have that one spot on my nose that kind of smudged. Um, and again, I'm not sure when that happened. I don't remember touching my face, but clearly I did, or maybe Kate did. Somebody touched my nose and I had like a fingerprint on my nose, but, um, it is kind of gathering around here. You can kind of see it gathering, but again, nothing that's like, Nothing that I wouldn't expect from a foundation of this consistency and this texture. So I'm not really disappointed in it at all. I wouldn't say that I'm like blown away with it. Um, I think it's very different than the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the one that I use and love. It's just so different. Like that one I love because my skin just looks so like healthy um, and natural looking. But I, what I don't love about it is it doesn't really wear that long. This one wears really long, but it doesn't give you that like natural looking uh, finish either. So it's just kind of different, you know. Um, yeah, that's kind of my opinion of this today. I'm going to wear it tomorrow and I will check in with you guys. I'm probably not going to do a full like several check-ins tomorrow, but I will wear it tomorrow and I will do like an initial check-in on how it looks after I apply it and then I'll probably just do like the end of the day check-in and we'll see if there's any difference between wearing it with a primer and not wearing it with a primer. But yeah, I would say overall, I would give this probably an eight out of 10. Um, it's good. I'm not like blown away with it, um, but it's good. So I hope that's helpful. All right, well, I'm gonna go wash my face and get ready for bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I just applied my makeup. I applied it a little differently today. So instead of applying a moisturizer before foundation, I didn't apply a moisturizer. I applied the Hourglass. So I just applied the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer on clean, dry skin. Then I applied the It Cosmetics CC Oil-Free Matte Cream. <laughs> I feel like those words are so jumbled. So then I applied that. Uh, when I was reading the site yesterday, it said that it could be used as your moisturizer, so I'm putting that to the test. And I did not powder it today. I definitely noticed a difference in the finish today versus yesterday. Um, and I think that key difference is not using a moisturizer before and then also the primer. I used a little bit less foundation today because the primer allowed me to do that. I didn't need as much and a little bit went further than it did yesterday. So I didn't set any powder at all. The finish is actually really nice. This is a natural matte finish to me. This is kind of what I was hoping it would look like yesterday, but it was a little bit more dewy and glowy if you remember that. So um, we are gonna see how this performs. It is 11.45, 11.45 uh, a.m. We have a day, we'll be outside a lot. We're gonna go to a friend's house and the girls will swim, so I'll be outside probably most of the afternoon. Um, so we will see how this holds up, but I definitely think I like the finish of this and the feel of this more so than I did yesterday. And it's not that I didn't like it yesterday, but now that I've kind of tried it two different ways, I think this is my preferred method of application. So let's see how it looks in a few hours. Hey everybody, so it's three o'clock. I wasn't thinking I was gonna do a check-in, um, a mid-check-in, but I wanted to check in real quick because we just got to our friend's house and we're gonna be outside a lot. So I wanted to do a pre-check-in before I spend the next couple hours outside. So I think I've decided that my favorite way to wear this is definitely the way that I applied it today, which is without a moisturizer and with a primer because it looks pretty darn good. I don't think that much has changed since I first applied it at all. Um, I mean, it looks 
really fresh, good coverage. It doesn't feel or look as heavy as it did yesterday. Not that it looked really heavy yesterday, but it definitely has more of a natural matte finish today. So um, there we go. So I am really liking it. That's for my sunglasses. I got a little miss asleep back here. I just parked the car. <laughs> My friend, uh, she just came out here because I let Brooklyn run into the front door and go in and she just came out here and she's looking at me on my camera and thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll check in with you in a bit. Hey guys. So it's just before 7 p.m. It's basically 7 p.m. And I wanted to do a quick and final check-in with you guys. Uh, so I haven't touched up the foundation at all. I applied it. What time was that? It was, it's been about seven hours, if not longer, that I've had the foundation on, and it looks pretty darn good without any touch-ups. I have spent the last three hours outside in at least 100 degree temperatures. I'm not even sure what the temperature is in Austin right now. Actually, let me check. I'm really curious now. <laughs> what is the temperature? Okay, so it's 95. So it's 95 degrees in Austin, and I've been outside for three hours watching kids swim, and this is what my foundation looks like pretty impressed. So I think definitely I like this foundation. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Um, key differences between this and the normal It Cosmetics CC cream. There's actually quite a bit of differences. The It CC cream leaves the skin looking hydrated and healthy and um, really beautiful, but it's not long wearing at all. This one is much longer wearing. Um, it does look a little bit heavier than that foundation though does. I feel like this does look more like a full coverage, heavier finish, but um, it's very beautiful. I think my favorite way to wear this without a moisturizer and to pair it with a primer. Um, again, this is the first day that I've worn it. So if I get to wear it like this several days in a row and I feel like my skin is feeling a little dry, then I might have to reevaluate. But supposedly this is going to give me the moisture that I would need from a moisturizer and it's built into the foundation. So if that's the case, I'm going to give this foundation two thumbs up. I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, it is Friday night. My kids are downstairs. My husband's downstairs. They're waiting on me to start a movie. So I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you in my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.